hey, hey, good morning and welcome back to another vlog. I am Alexia Nicole and I'm living my life by design. All right, y'all, so I am just leaving the gym and as I said in my 2019 vision board goal, it's kind of been a struggle at the top of the year trying to get back into my keto lifestyle. So what I figured was that I would do a, um, a vlog for the week of what I'm eating and working out because it'll just help me like stay on top you know y'all really motivate me to achieve these goals I think it's just simply part of knowing that I'm gonna have to come on here and tell y'all if I made it or not so what we're about to go do is head to the grocery store um, I'm gonna get some things to meal prep for the week for me and my mother um, and yeah so we're just gonna go from there all right guys so I just pulled up to here everything's better aka H-E-B <laughs> I just love this grocery store. So the goal for me when meal prepping is one, to save money. Because I can probably, I'm trying to say under $40 when I go into this grocery store, which might not happen today because I have to get a few other things besides groceries. But if it was just groceries for the week, I would like to spend like no more than $40. So one, you save money for meal prepping. And then two, it just helps you stay accountable. Like if you've already made your meals for the week or if it's already just like right there in the refrigerator and you just have to cook it, then you're not going out and making unhealthy choices. So let me just get in and get out of here real quick. Is here. I've been seeing this Slim Fast um, keto thing in all the magazines. So I was really interested in it because I've ran out of my actual protein shake. So I think I'm gonna try this and see if I like it. It has whey, collagen, grass-fed butter, and MCT oils, all that good stuff. So, we'll throw that in the basket. I was considering getting one of like these snacky things, but I think I'm gonna try my hand at just making my own fat bombs at home because I don't like these prices. So the purpose of me wanting to try a fat bomb is because my sweet tooth is crazy. And that's what really gets me. Like I like cookies, famous famous chocolate chip cookies, Skittles, things like that. So if I can get something that is going to be within the diet that is going to, you know, satisfy that craving, then that would be so much better. So I'm actually gonna just try to make a fat bomb at home, maybe sometime during the week. Sparkling water to drink, because let's be honest, plain water just gets boring. You know, I would like a little flavor in my life. And I'm trying to break my bougie ways and consider an off brand, but I don't know about all that. So we're gonna have to pick one. This Perrier though is $4.50 for 10 slim cans. And then HEB has their own brand that's $3. But then these new Dasani's, I've actually tried them before on Delta Flight and they're really good. So maybe we'll just go with this. Lime, black cherry, let's just do lime and see how we like, well, eight cans. 12 cans. You know what? Let me make myself proud and go with the grocery store brand. I'm going to pick up a few little bell peppers. Oh, look, that's cute. Get an orange one. Yellow. And red. Ooh, they're all funny shapes. Cauliflower, and I can break this to make that into cauliflower rice um, and broccoli. 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 What's this? Baby broccoli? No. So now I'm getting some shrimp. I think I'm just going to go with that one since I'm lazy and don't want to peel. Thank you. And D Bang. So yeah, shrimp. Lazy way out and buy like already prepped fajita meat chicken for mommy because she doesn't really eat red meat and yeah we'll go with that and then I think that's gonna be it so my tongue came up to 52.49 and that includes that $14 keto powder so let's not really include that so I did pretty good alrighty and I'm out of here so let's go meal prep oh let me tell y'all about my workout I did this morning though so I've started doing this technically it's seven days a week but I'm gonna just do five days a week so today was upper body focus so I did back and arms I'm trying to just get this body toned y'all so I've cut back on like a lot of the cardio that I'm doing and I'm just really focusing on like a lot more lifting and just eating better so 
we'll see at the end of this week today is Monday we will see Friday what how much weight I've lost and you know if I'm really doing good or not all right so first meal of the day we got a little broccoli and shrimp put a little ghee butter on this broccoli and that's it so I've cooked all the rest of it and I'm just gonna store it in the fridge and me and mommy will probably devour all the broccoli and shrimp probably by tomorrow and then I will cook the beef fajitas and cauliflower chicken fajitas and uh, bell peppers for the remainder of the week and then we'll see if it lasts okay y'all it is about 7 or 6 p.m. and I haven't ate since I had that shrimp and broccoli earlier so I'm trying to get back into my fasting hours also that might be a little bit of an adjustment <laughs> but I just threw this fajita meat on the uh, the stove since it's too cold outside to go play with anybody's grill and I don't have time for that so we're gonna cook that dice up these bell peppers and then that's what's gonna be for dinner and meal prep for tomorrow <laughs> Slice and dice some bell peppers and then saute that together with the cauliflower rice. And dang, hope I have like some guacamole or something. I kind of want like guacamole, sour cream, and cheese. <laughs> I'm from Texas, y'all. I like Tex Mex. Okay. I would love that right now. Love that. So I'm going to use a little plate so I don't be a fatty and overfill the plate. So we got the seasoned fajitas. We got our vegetables. And then I just got sour cream, guacamole, and cheese. Well, dinner is served. And I have like 10 minutes to eat. Five. <laughs> before it hits 8 o'clock. All right. So these are the results. Beef fajita. And yo, this tastes so good. And yes, it was pre-seasoned, but I cooked it like at the perfect temperature. Like, it's delicious. Medium well. We don't do that medium rare around here unless it's my stepdaddy that made it because he's the only one I trust. Sour cream, guacamole, cheese, cauliflower rice with the mixed in bell peppers, and a greedy dog that's not going to get that. All right, so day one of the vlog, the food vlog, the health and fitness vlog. I don't know what we're going to call this, but day one. It's ending. It's like 10.30 p.m. I'm having a glass of... A glass. I'm having a cup of green tea. It's organic green tea. 
I have like half a teaspoon of stevia in here and that's it so tomorrow head to the gym and do it all over again good morning guys it is 8 15 a.m. I slept so good last night like I have no idea why um, but I just slept like a champ I don't know if my workout yesterday was just that good woke up and my body sore Um, but yeah, gotta make my morning tea. Tea kettle is ready. My favorite tea, chai tea. I don't care what brand it is, but I love me some chai tea. a teaspoon and that's it and that's gonna be my tea for the morning I took my shot of apple cider vinegar and I'll probably just sip on water for the rest of the day until <clears throat> it's time to eat at 12 o'clock so those groceries I bought yesterday so y'all know I'm just used to buying groceries for myself clearly feeding two people things go a lot quicker <laughs> So me and my mother really like have one more meal left for today. Oh, actually, no, I didn't cook the chicken. So we do still have the fajita chicken that I bought. So that $40 worth of groceries didn't make it. But so if, you, if I was to double it, $80 for the week for two people still really is not bad compared to like going out and uh, eating fast food at restaurants every single meal of the day. Um... So yeah, but today I might be kind of out and about. So we'll see what I eat. So it's 10.43 and I'm hungry. I haven't worked out yet. Um, but I don't want to eat. Like, it's not even 12 o'clock. I don't know why I'm so hungry. But I'm going to work out in a little bit. Like right now I'm trying to find some properties for this guy that just called... Um, he's looking for some rentals, so it'll be real quick and easy. Um, so I just want to like send those over to him. I'm not going to go to the gym. I'm probably just going to go upstairs and work out. But in the meanwhile, I'm just going to drink some water so I can like try to kill these hunger cravings. All right, so I just got a quick little workout in. 30 minutes and a few calories. And got my heart rate up. Yay. All right, so now it's 12.10. So I can actually eat. Oh, let me turn this off. Ooh, I think I'm just gonna have a protein shake. The meal replacement shake thing that I bought at Slim Fast yesterday. At Slim Fast. <laughs> that I bought at HEB yesterday. So, ooh, I'm tired. My legs are burning. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do the meal replacement. You can do it with either water. It says water, but I like just a little bit of milk in mine too, so. I'm going to do half milk, half water, and then two scoops of this. A little bit of milk. Ooh, chap. I have the worst habit of opening like five water bottles a day and not like finishing them like just leaving them half empty or half full um so i'm trying to be better at that okay that workout was great 30 minutes burn a few calories legs are pulsating and that was with my i'm gonna put a few cubes of ice in here just because 
chillier. Um, if I had some strawberries or some type of berries, I would put that in here too, but I don't have any. I need to go to the grocery store and get some. <clears throat> but yeah, the Aptiv app, like, I love it so much. Like, days like today where I just didn't really feel like going to the gym or got caught up doing other things and I don't like going to the gym at this time of day, whatever. Just turn that on and get a good burn real quick. And that's that. So, so this is meal number one. Yesterday I only did one scoop. Oh yeah, it tastes better with two. <laughs> It's like 3 10 p.m. Um, and it's time to eat because I'm hungry. So I'm having the same thing that I had last night, but with chicken fajita instead of steak fajita and sparkling water. Yummy! All right, guys, it's 8 p.m. almost 7 55. And I think I'm just gonna have a cup of tea and call it a night. Last night I had green tea. I don't really think I want green tea again. I had chai this morning. <laughs> I wish I had some peppermint tea. I'm so congested. Um, I would love some peppermint tea right now, but I don't think we have any. But anyways, yep, that's it. So we will see y'all tomorrow for day three. Mm. I steeped it chai tea bag perfectly this morning <laughs> good morning y'all today is day three of still haven't figured out the name of this vlog um getting a late start to my day it is 9 44 went downstairs made my tea and now i'm back in the bed i'm really tired today like i'm feeling slightly fatigued and that's probably from being like back into keto almost full force keto last night i kind of had a cheat snack aspen asked for some popcorn and i couldn't let him eat the whole bag by himself <laughs> so we had a little bit of uh popcorn i didn't have a lot though so you know we can just count that towards my few calories my few carbs that i can intake um and then i took some melatonin because I haven't been sleeping that well lately, like at all. It's like I can go to sleep just fine. Like I can always fall asleep. But like through the night, I'm not getting like a deep sleep. I'm just waking up here and there. Aspen like has nightmares. So he'll like in the middle of the night just start like doing this ferocious bark attack thing. And I've really, I've gotten so used to it that it doesn't scare me anything. But it's just like, okay, Aspen, you keep waking me up out of my sleep. And no, I'm not going to kick him out the room. He sleeps right here next to me. <laughs> and then I've been having, like, I don't know. It feels like my allergy sinuses is turning into a cold. So after I took the melatonin, um, I took um, a Zyrtec. So that, you know, makes me sleepy too. So I slept in late today. Um, and I just really don't have no energy. So I'm just going to sit here and drink my tea. Do a little bit of um, real estate work on the computer. It might just call it a stay at home day. Yeah. All right, it's time to eat. Oh, it's 11.55, maybe five minutes early. I'm hungry and I have a headache. So I'm gonna eat and lay back in this bed. <laughs> All right, so it's about 6.24 p.m. I'm gonna cook this last piece of steak that we have. Um, and eat dinner. Then I'm gonna go walk on the treadmill upstairs. Like I just, oh, I have not been feeling good at all today. I've been a bed bum, stuck to my computer, just being a bed bum. Um, but yeah, so I think this is the end of the groceries. The last, this is the last bit of groceries that I bought on Monday. So eating for two, oh, not eating for two, for me and for my mom. Feeding for, anyways, two people. <laughs> Um, so I guess it's not too bad. $40, right? All right, y'all. So it's 7.45 p.m. And I just finished eating. Now I'm about to walk on the treadmill for about 25 minutes. 
Jackie, 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 Jackie. Y'all know Jackie Anna on YouTube. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, she just posted, or she posted a video earlier today. And it's like 25 minutes, so I'm gonna watch that and just kind of walk just to save it. I move my limbs and then I'm going to bed. <laughs> All right, y'all. I just finished my little workout. I walked for 26 minutes and 29 seconds, 1.2 miles, and burnt 133 calories. So it's just a little walkity walk, 1% incline at three point speed, just to kind of get my blood flowing because I have just been sore from my weights the other day. Um, and yeah, I'm done for the day. Um, but <laughs> I did have some Stones ginger wine, just all my Jamaicans, y'all know what Stones ginger wine is. I had a glass of that. I'm not sure how many calories or carbs or whatever is in that, but we just gonna put that out there. I had a little glass of that. So yeah, now I'm about to go hop in the shower and go to bed. We got tomorrow and Friday, and we will see what our total um, weight loss is for the week. I didn't tell y'all how much I started off at, and I still don't really know if I wanna tell y'all, but I will tell y'all how much pounds I've lost for the week. Good morning, lovely people. It is 8.38 a.m. Thursday, day four of this weekly food blog. About to make me a cup of tea. So just an update. Ooh, that light. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Um, last night I was having a crazy sweet tooth craving. So instead of me doing something really naughty, I had like half of that slim fast keto milkshake um, meal replacement thing. Because um, it's sweet and it tastes good. So, got knocked out my craving. So, I did go past my 8 o'clock eating hours, but whatever. Life goes on. <laughs> About to make this tea. Steep my chai tea. Take my um, tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and carry on with my day. Alright, just got another great workout in. Upper body focus today. Then I went into the sauna and stretched. It's important to be kind to your body after all of that weight lifting. Just stretch it out and relax it out. Anyways, about to head home, hop in the shower. Alright, back home from the gym. I'm gonna make a meal replacement real quick. I'm not gonna use the blender today, I'm being lazy. I got one of those little shaker, shaker ball things in here. Some water. Well, that's going to be it for meal number one. It's 12.30. So I'm actually about to go hit the road and run some errands. So we'll see what I eat today. I'm not in the mood to cook. I've been cooking all week. So it's officially lunchtime, 2.57. And we came to Willie's Ice House. It's going to be a family outing. Say hello, mother. <laughs> Petty. <laughs> So I got redfish, I put my sauce oh, on the sides, and vegetables. I don't know what's in there, but it's probably not keto. I'm going to get bunny's burger with sweet potato fries that she's not supposed to have. That's okay. Like, Enjoy life a little bit. Let me show what you're not supposed to have. <laughs> this is what, what she's not supposed to be having, but she's having it, so hey, good. And Auntie is staying slim and trim. 
right over here. So it is 7.42 p.m. I'm gonna have my last meal of the night, just leftovers, fajitas, cauliflowers. Until she decides I'm gonna drink some, some ginger wine. She's a hater. Yeah, you drank my ginger wine last night. That I was heard. two nights ago. No, but she told me last night. It was not last night, it was two nights ago. <laughs> and then I'm going to prep some chia seed pudding for tomorrow, and that'll be lunch miss. Lunch miss, breakfast, Break brunch. <laughs> It'll be brunch. Good morning. So today is day five, last day of the the food vlog, I guess is what we're gonna call it. And I'm at IHOP with a friend. Say hi to Tanarvis. Hi. So, I'm trying to be good. These all you can eat pancakes are staring me in the face. But I think I'm gonna just get an omelet and be a good girl. We'll see. <laughs> I think I'm going to do, can I just do the build your own omelet? Mm -hmm. It can be 99 cents for each topping, okay? Okay. I'm okay. you know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, can I have um, white cheddar cheese, okay. bacon, mm -hmm. mushrooms, tomatoes, spinach, peppers, and avocado? Yeah, I think I want to add one of these meats in here though. Maybe okay, I should have added them. Uh, Omelet is extreme. I'm not even gonna be able to eat like half of that. That's what it is. Have you already do those? Larvis got over here. Things that I can't eat that I really want to eat. Yeah, I couldn't even finish. I ate like half of it. And like two grapes from the fruit. I ate all mine. Don't play no games. No plates left over. <laughs> <laughs> I licked the plate. <laughs> okay, guys. It's like 1.20 now. And I've been ripping and running. And I brought one of my meal replacement shakes with me so i'm sipping on a little bit of this i don't know if i'm gonna drink it all at one time i probably just sip while i drive yeah just so i don't like stop and get a cookie from mcdonald's because that's what i'm looking at right now <laughs> friday night last meal papa does for my friend's birthday i'm gonna try to be good you order some you type of fish and vegetables or they have a really good salad that I like too. I already ordered vodka and soda, so that's good. No sodas, no margaritas. I'm trying to stay away from the sugar. And then they got this bread on the table looking at me. Okay, she went the healthy route. A little salmon with some scallops and jumbo loaf crab meat with some spinach. This sauce, who knows what's in it, but I'm gonna eat it. Got to end out the vlog but I'm just got home and <laughs> I remembered to weigh myself and I've lost a total of 2.3 pounds for the week which is probably off because it's nighttime and I've been eating and drinking so I should have weighed myself this morning but that's still actually really good so even if I lost a solid three pounds for the week I'm happy um, but yeah that's it for the food vlog for the week I hope y'all enjoyed until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye!